Hello YouTube, my name is Captain Darren and my call sign is N4VFR. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize your spectrum scope on the ICOM IC7300. Stay tuned. When you buy your new ICOM IC7300, it's going to come default uh, to the way the spectrum scope looks. So I'm going to expand that so you can actually take a look. There is a signal right there. Let me turn on the audio so you can hear it. Okay. Yep. There is a signal right there. And if you can look closely, you can see there it's just moving so fast. I'm not talking about the waterfall, but the, the peaks and valleys. It's moving so fast and it's just irritating to me. So I'm going to show you my custom settings and perhaps you might want to use it like mine or you can use some of the features and then change some of the colors for your liking. Uh, first thing you want to do is push the expand set and press and hold. It brings up a menu. There's four pages on this menu. And these are all the default settings. I haven't changed anything yet. So the first thing I want to look for is the max hold. It's this one here. It's default for 10 seconds. I'm going to turn that off. Next is the averaging. I'm going to look for averaging. That's on page two. It's currently defaulted as off. So what this does, it's going to average the signal. So right now it's off. Let's select two and let's take a look. You can see the signal right there. It's still moving a little fast. Perhaps you might like this setting, but for my taste, I'm going to set that to four. Now the waveform type, it's defaulted to fill. I want to change that to fill plus line. All right, let's take a look. Looking a little bit better. Turn up the audio. There is, there is someone there. You can see the, uh, the scope. You can hear a little bit of the audio. All right. So you see how smooth that's an averaging four. You see how smooth the the scope is looking. Again, let me show you the averaging. We're going to change that to a two. And take a look. See, it's a little bit faster. That's why I, I like averaging set to four. Okay. There's a fill, all that white stuff inside there. Under that line, I'm going to eliminate that. So press again to expand. Let's go back here. It's called the waveform color. It's currently set to white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to black. And to do that, you take all these colors and then go all the way to zero. You see how the color changes right there? All the way to zero. Okay. Back out of there. Let's take a look. Okay, now it's black. We're not done yet. Don't give up. Let's go back and page three. The waveform color line is currently like brown. 
So we're going to change that. And what I like the color to be, I like green. So let me take a look at my notes and to see what my settings were. So I had red to zero and the green was 255. So red, we're gonna move that all to zero. The green, we're gonna bring this up max to 255. And then the blue, it's zero. See how the line is now green or the color. So let's back out, let's take a look at the scope. How is that looking for you? Pleasant for the eyes now, right? Good. Okay. The next step is to adjust the speed of the waterfall. So let's go back there to expand. And there it is. Right now it's at mid, mid for medium or middle speed. Uh, if you go slow, and let's take a look. I think it's just almost too slow. And uh, let's take a look at fast. And there is fast. And uh, yeah, that's not for me. It's just too fast. So medium it's a good value and it's pleasant for the eyes you can scan the band um, look at your frequencies and you can see the activity a lot easier all right there's one more thing i want to change all right let's go to page four it's the waterfall peak color level this one right here okay it's defaulted to grid 8 so if you want to there's eight of them so if let's select grid 1 you can actually take a look at the peak color levels this is what brings out the red that hurts your eyes uh, you can reduce the reference level like that or you can reduce by reducing the RF gain. There's RFG and reducing the gain. There you go. And then adjust the reference level. It's a little bit too much negative, so we're going to make it closer to the zero. Right about there. That is zero right now. Close that out. And here you can see the peaks, the reds. Okay? Again, that's grid one. Let's take a look at grid two. Grid two, it's like you can still see the peaks, but not as red, more pleasing to the eye, I guess you want to say. Your miles might vary. And then there's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is default. Let's look at five. See how it's getting a little too dark there? Again, you can adjust your RF gain. So you can actually look at the S meter and listen to the audio so you don't have as much of the white hash noise. And also at the same time, well, not at the same time. You can use these in in combination with each other. You can use the reference level and turn down the, the noise floor. Just like that. Okay. That's grid five. But for me, I like to leave it default and then adjust my reference level and need be. I'll bring it up to zero, take a look at that, adjust the RF gain. Let's listen for some stations. Uh, I'd 
thinking probably um, six, seven years ago, maybe eight years ago, I would regularly uh, go hilltopping with my mobile and um, several places in Tulsa. One was Chandler Park and another one was right there in town up on the hill and I would uh, look to the southwest and uh, walk in long paths. Okay, I'm just adjusting the reference level and the RF gain. Yeah, no, he's got you in there. He's worked you five or six or seven times, he said. Uh, on, mostly on 20. So make it more pleasing to the eye. So he remembers and he passes his test. Check this out. That looks like uh, over the horizon radar or, e or either jamming. Listen to this. All right, so this is a good example. You can actually see the, the spectrum scope lines, the signal strength, and the waterfall. So I'm going to show you the grid colors, uh, the waterfall peak color levels. Default, it's eight. That's my favorite position. And let's go to one, and you can actually see what it looks like. That's one. It's like totally red. Okay, again, you can adjust the reference levels to bring down the signal a little bit. It's minus 5.5. All right. Let's go to grid two. That's grid two. A little bit of red but not completely red like the grid one was. All right, now grid three, there's grid three. I know it's hard to see in the video, but there's yellow, light blue, and blue colors. Grid four, Grid five. Grid six. Now there's really no yellow. It's just light blue and blue and a little bit of white. Grid seven. All right, looks like uh, white and blue, no yellow, and the default setting is grid 8. I'm going to adjust the reference level back to 0. Just the RF gain. So yeah, that's what uh, it looks like with my configuration on the spectrum scope. Easy peasy, right? I hope you learned something and customizing your spectrum scope on your ICOM IC7300. Please consider to subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. Leave me a comment, please or share it with your friends. My name is Captain Darren, and my call sign is N4VFR. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.